Hmm. I guess we'll dump that on memory card one. So what's this secret room hubbub? I know there's some additional game modes. Uh, hard mode... <sighs> Apparently hard mode isn't... It isn't that bad because the only difference is there are no items like lavender and things that you could actually pick up. There's no healing items in this game. The only items you can find are the ones that you find uh, that you can create through the alchemy system. That's basically it. And obviously the bosses and whatnot do more damage to you. Uh, but, you know, the bosses themselves aren't exactly that difficult. So, eh, whatever, I guess. So, secret room, various extras, game info, and mini game are, and a mini game are contained within. Art gallery, examine the paintings next to the stove to view various concept art. Examine the dolls that are atop the bed to view ver that's interesting. Music gallery, examine the phonograph to listen to different game music tracks. Wonderful, I like that. And uh, movie gallery, examine the projector to view various game cutscenes. Uh, examine the chest that lies next to the bed to change into different outfits. Examine the frames hanging near the chest to view the different play type names that you've been awarded. Examine the door next to the fireplace to play a thrilling mini game. And exit the door next to the phonograph to return to the title screen. Okay. Wow, look at this. So Fiona, normal outfit. Start button, help. We can play an animation. How do you do the animations? Um, X button, play animation. Ah, I see. I see, you just cycle through the animations. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. And again, like the character models are absolutely mental as well. Really cool stuff. That's normal out. Oh, yeah, normal outfit one was the same, just with, you know, shoes on our feet under the scalpel. Which was that hideous. Ah, look at this. We've got the Texas cowgirl. I believe we've unlocked this outfit. And the interesting thing with this outfit is it gives us a gun with unlimited ammo, which we can actually, like, go through the game and shoot all the enemies. But. I mean, sure, maybe. If we ever get back to streaming, we could do... So, uh, well, that's interesting. Oh, this outfit. I've heard about this one. Apparently, instead of having a gun, we have a whip. Apparently, some people say the whip is actually better than, um, than the gun. It does more damage. So then we've got another outfit, which we haven't unlocked yet. So Huey. Standard Huey. Oh, what animations does Huey have? Sitting, laying, growling, scared. Ah, oh, that's oh, poor Huey. Walking, running, sniffing, walking. What was that? Sit walking, I think. Uh, what's going on there? Oh, he's having a scratch. Head tilt. Oh, that's when you shout it. Oh, no, that's when uh, he can't find an item, isn't it? Poor. These character models are insanely detailed for a PlayStation 2. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, 
we've got a different skin from there, like the traditional um, color German Shepherd. Apparently, if you have him in this costume, he does more damage, he's more aggressive, but he's harder to control. And then we've got other costumes. So we've got Diabilitas. So what animations does he have? Walking, running, injured, punching. I don't know what that is. Crying, slapping himself around, laughing. Oh, defeated. That's quite cool. Okay, Daniela. Actually, a really fucking cool um, design, Daniela. She really does move with a purpose. I don't know what that is. Is that when she's like jibbing out? must be all right ricardo a yeah wasn't a huge fan like ricardo just wasn't that interesting i don't think out of the three main villains daniela was really cool um the abilities was really cool and Lorenzo was fairly interesting. But I would say Ricardo here was probably the weakest one. Just kind of uninteresting. Lorenzo old. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I mean, he could really move, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he can really move. Oh, that was sad. Middle-aged. Oh, he doesn't have any extra animations. <laughs> His good old Chad Lorenzo. Cool. Lord of Fire. That's pretty grisly, to be honest. That is... Oh, we can... Right, we can zoom in and out. Okay. That is pretty grisly. I wonder why it took him so long to burn to death. And how he even got out of that anyway. It must be because he has, like, unnatural alchemical life, I suppose. And we've got a lot of things that we haven't unlocked. So type playlist. So we've got top breeder. True friendship is like brewing. Uh, it's like the brewing of a fine wine. Uh, sure. Right. So changing area. What costumes do we have? So we do have the Texas cowgirl here that we can get changed into. Now, ah, right. So there's the gun. But that is as fast as it fires. So, yeah, okay. I mean, it might be fun to play with, I suppose. Maybe we'll do a special run with it at some point. Legal in some states. And this is the, yeah, Dominatrix. Yeah, so apparently that whip does more damage. But I don't know. I'd have to experiment and find myself. Uh, art gallery. I don't know why that gown has blood on it. Maybe she's not the first person that wore that. That is cool. 
Oof, that looks way worse. That's pretty bloody cool. She looks a bit too, like, tall and thin there. He, he kind of looks really dull and uninterested in what he's doing. <laughs> he looks like a bored student that's been uh, told to stand in line. Or he looks like an extra or something. Yeah, it's just odd. Mm, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty faithful to how he was in the game. Yeah, he's just... Old Lorenzo is just an infinitely more interesting design, I think. His long locks of hair wafting in the wind. Look at him. What a chad. Honestly. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Shame we didn't unlock all of these. Oh, that's cool. We've got someone like looking around the corridor. Shadowy figure. Must be mad to think all the, oh, look at that. Must be insane to think all the actual artistry that goes into designing one of these games. Just any game, in fact. Absolutely crazy. Oof. Hmm, the Iron Maiden, yes. Huh. It's one of those transmorph machines, but... That one didn't make it into the game. Can we see? All yeah, we saw all these. All right, cool. Art gallery. Anything else? Movie gallery. So this we can just watch all of the um, CG cutscenes again. I guess we missed that one. Wow, there was a lot of cutscenes in this game. Potentially, there's a lot we missed as well, apparently. Just interesting. In the depths of hell. Ah, and then of course you've got the endings. Yeah. Then we can listen to all the music, which will probably get me uh, demonetized. Demonetized? Um, copyright strikes, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got Huey. Oh, that's the exit. There's a game type that we can play with Huey. Mini game. So, use Huey to guide Fiona to the various key locations. When you bark, Fiona will come to your side. Left analog stick move. Right analog stick bark. X is run. Okay, so we can charge up attack. Play dead. So there's only... Only two challenges. Okay, I think we can work it out. Maybe. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, I see it. It tells you. Can you... Right. Oh. Right. Let's see if we can just get her to run to us. 
<laughs> Sod you, Diabilitas, or whatever the fuck you call. Now, I'm guessing if... If he actually gets Fiona, I'm guessing it's like game over. Right, where is she? Where is she? Oh! So, we can attack him. So, no, she doesn't actually die from one hit. Come on. Come on, Fiona, this way. Right. Oh, I can't remember where. We've got to take her. And that's a dead end. Which is rather unfortunate. Oh! I guess we can actually straight up get away from that. But I honestly can't remember exactly. She's not actually going to do anything. She's just going to sit there and get her ass stomped. So you can't tell her to like run on or anything. And although I'm controlling Huey, he is kind of just running wherever the hell he wants to go, which is a bit strange. Right. Do we have a map? We don't even have a map. Yeah. And yeah, he's just going straight after her. I think because she's panicking. Because she's panicking, he's just, yeah, going straight after her. Well, this is bad. I mean, it went about as well as I thought it would. And now he's going to start, yeah, doing bad things. So that's that. I mean, I don't know if we unlock anything for completing that. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'm going to break this bonus stuff up into a separate bonus video as well. Just because. It makes it easier that way, I think. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this game. I really have. This has been a wonderful game to go through. Um, I've, it, it's yeah, it's interesting how this game got so little attention um, when it came out and was completely buried by Resident Evil 4. Which, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can kind of understand that. But this game was really good in its own right, and it did deserve to do um, at least a little bit of success, uh, or at least have a little bit of success. But, Never mind. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.